No, my end. It is definitely on my end. Alright, we got new correspondence. Uh, Marshall. So what did I... A case file. I was reading case file. Floppy disk. Okay, floppy disk. Uh, must be contained in a cell. Not containing any other loose material. Okay. Um, when bound, the object allows peri-utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. Doc, uh, see Dr. Darling, presentation 11.15 for more information. The object is currently bound to... Blah, for research purposes. Background. Stolen from a Soviet military base located in Russia by agents blah and blah with the CIA. The diskette contained launch codes to nuclear missiles believed to be reserved for the for use against America. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off that and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. <laughs> Uh, acquisition date, the th uh, what is that? The third of November, nineteen seventy-four. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Dash K E. All right. Um, just because I'm interested. Just because I'm interested. Let's see what happened. O three, eleven. 1974. Right, Okay, I'm not going to be able to... F That's too bad. Alright, well, thank you for sticking through. We're back to a some connection, I think. I can't tell. Oofy. What happened? Still audible? Okay. I think I'm only going to be running this for another like 10 minutes or so until I get to a good like stop point. I don't know. I don't know if I'm properly audible right now talking about as soon as all the kids come home from school the internet kind of goes Emily said that the hotline reached through the mail room okay Something just figured out I'm here. Something just figured out I'm here. They're giving me a lot too. Can I telekinetically? I'm being honest. I didn't intend on killing that poor, poor, poor agent.
Material house memory. Okay, what's this? Launch effect. Launch energy cost minus 8%. Okay. Current using a help. That's fine. Okay. So I'm thinking at some point the ability... I'm gonna have the ability... My ability. I'm playing through the speakers too. Inter this room is. Oh man, there's a second floor too. Okay. Okay, dark bathrooms creep me out. Oh, I have a fast travel point here. This the door. Can you not please? Dude was stuck around. Okay, so now I have one. I'm gonna fast travel. Back to center. I'm gonna save it. Um. Gonna travel back and invest. Okay, yeah. I think I'm pretty much out of uh, bandwidth at this point to rock. So, I have to cut it there. Beep boop indeed. Beep boop indeed. So, let's quickly go talk to this lady that I can't remember the name of. Hey, lady. The hotline should, department. Pope. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions. Her name is... Just Her name is Emily. Oh, look at this. We got a wall of executives. Were those these beer over the years? And then there's one with the red flag. That's the next. Okay, so they're going to put up a picture of dude. Of trench. Okay, there was a level 1 clearance door back here that I couldn't get into before. That's level 3. Oh, is this the jukebox room? Something on the jukebox. No, about you. Am I able to get back up to... Level 1 clearance. Oh yeah! I can open up these level 1 clearance doors, so... What do we just collect? Are 
research. Para utility. Objects of power are unique in their cap in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals para utilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the para utilitarian. Using the redacted object of power as an example, some para utilitarians can achieve to a throw distance of redacted, while others are only capable as little as redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more information. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some redacted exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. So some telekinesis exists within the body. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the Northmore records. Considering he is one of the most accomplished peri-utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen, Dr. Darling is still consider, uh, considering this request. Refer to file 854-1982 for full report. Huh. Ha! Huh. So there was somebody else that was really good at telekinesis in that case. Room. Okay, we'll do a quick uh, backtrack just to go back to level one room, and then we'll uh, save and end the stream there for the day. Because right now the connection is bad. I don't want to miss out information. Um, Enter to all food left in the refrigerator break room three has been known to vanish plan a court socks and ballots acoustic guitar for parents out it's printed c carry and bucks delay shifts do not <laughs> remember to wash your hands you can spread the mold office rules of conduct in moderate volume balls and documents or in the copy room no using personal projects 3d printer bears badge at all times no discuss how to finish the coffee pot makes mom one. Let's some new old including me. Uh, let's say hi and welcome to some new people. Oh, that one of them is different than the other. It's some people in both either. But I'm there. Interesting. When did they get my picture? Don't bring dogs into the office. Some of us have allergies. Your first aiders are... Whoa. M.E. Chung, Ryan Payton, Pearson, Benson. Justin Leppert. Pneumatic tube checklist. Place your item in the tube. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Four cowboys in this one. That's the painting with just one. Suspect. <laughs> Very sus indeed. Very sus indeed. Okay, this is the Executive Affairs Department. Uh, back to the Director's Office was this way. Level 1 clearance are here. Sweet. There's a file on the floor. Cool. Agent death notification. Ooh. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Potts, I regret to inform you that your son, Graham Potts, was killed in active duty this past week. While the details surrounding his death are classified, I am honored to tell you that he died in the service of his country. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger and his commitment to protecting our nation against her enemies. He will be remembered by his comrades and colleagues. I sincerely regret the pain this message will bring you. 
take some solace in knowing that his sacrifice helped protect the country he loved so much. His effects will be returned to you with all speed. Sincerely yours, Howard J. Murray, Deputy Chief of Communications, Federal Bureau of Control. Honored. My goodness. Yeah. I am honored to tell you. That that just falls in line with that previous um that previous letter that said like don't use the words i'm sorry and all that other shit okay the alarm stopped going off in here it's a level four clearance there i don't think i was up here Nothing of interest in this room. Ooh, that's a level 4 clearance room. Can't get in there. Okay, so they're trying... Okay, so this is cool. This image here is actually called a Tesseract. Um, if you think of... It's a, it's, it's a fourth dimensional uh, geometrical shape. Um, think of the Tesseract from the Avenger movies, if you ever watched them. They... It's an object of power, obviously. But this is one of the ways that it's been drawn. And ultimately, it's a cube with four dimensions. Um, which is impossible. As we live in a three-dimensional world. Uh, but yeah, so that's interesting. They have a picture of a tesseract. And I'm assuming the mathematics and graphing can be taken for reuse. Okay. Very intriguing. Very, very intriguing indeed. Uh, and it was con it's considered something that could produce a shit ton of power. So it looks like they're actually trying to design something that could utilize the Tesseract for power, which is neat. Okay, here. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. We got another graph. Chart calculations. Sketch. Interesting. Okay, no, this is a laser setup. This is a laser. laser uh, this is a particle laser setup, indeed. So it looks like they're going to be like sending one particle one direction, sending another particle another direction with a reader at the end. It has to pass through specific objects, and they're seeing if they can disrupt the particle transfer. More than likely. Uh, da -da -da -da, triangle parameters, power, radius. Okay, this is probably no. This is the mathematics for fast travel. That's it. These are going to be the uh, mathematics three using the position so you can fast travel from one section to another section. Probably use la utilizing fourth dimensional transference capabilities. I don't know. Nonetheless, interesting. More interesting to listen to that personally. Okay, so that's just a big loop then. Is there any way to get back to the very... I wonder if there's any way to get back to the, oh, like the, the entrance of the building. That's a dead end. Director's office is this way. It's a recording. This is a bathroom. Another bathroom. Okay, 
I'm tripping out, man. This place is confusing. I definitely will say that. Definitely confusing. But where did I come into the building? It was from a hallway that doesn't exist anymore? Weird. Yeah, very confuzzled indeed. So I went into the director's office, shit happened, and then I left the director's office. I went up an elevator. But there's no elevator anymore. But that looks like the initial security desk. Uh, can I go back into the office? I can. Oh. Okay, his bleeding... His blood is still on the floor, he's gone. This is not an actual window. Okay, so we're below ground. No elevators. Two very dark offices. Huh. And just a shortcut to Central Executive. What? What are these white... What are these post-its? Interesting. Does that have to do with the post-it room that I witnessed? Oh, what's this? Chicken magazine, game magazine exclusive, game about secret agents. Shifted bathroom. Can I use telekinesis to open this? Okay, um... Need one of these. Energy boost, plus five. Energy recovery, okay. So we can have multiple different combinations. Weapon armor damage. Oh, cool. I can apply that to my new guy. Neat. What if the FBI is on, is the one who makes games? They'd be stalking us through games. Oh, no. They mustn't stalk us through the games, Danny. Shifted bathroom complaint. Listen. I know you can't control the building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. D. Rodriguez. <laughs> the bathroom has gone missing. What room is this? Ok, 
Okay, shaking hands with somebody. An interesting facility. Okay, more triangulation stuff. Uh, is that the board? Oh, that's Nixon in the middle? Oh, so the president, yeah, that's the president of the United States. Is this all the same notices? It is. Okay, so that's, that's just repeated different places. Send through 325. Okay. Surprised there's no, like, correspondence or anything in this room to search. That's interesting. Western. Okay, a cigarette machine. Alright, so this game takes place, I'm gonna say, in the 70s? Possibly the 80s. We got a box. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give dun, 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 dun. Nothing else of interest up here, it looks like. Except for the growth of a weird mushroom. That's everything on this floor. What's here? How am I missing stuff? This is so weird. Technological restrictions. Interesting. I went right past this room. Okay, so it looks like them setting up anchor points. I guess. Uh, technological restriction. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any Blank signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. Whole, okay, wait, wait, no. So this takes place in modern times, but the building is using technology back from the 70s and 80s because the oldest house will affect the use of new technology. If the power of collective unconsciousness is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural blank for the oldest house to blank them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology, technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the blank to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Blank agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Refer to file blah for report. Okay. Interesting. So this this is this does take place in modern times, but it seems like the bureau is specifically not allowing is specifically not allowing new tech. I have a feeling those rumbles mean that something's changing in the building. Okay, we got a bunch of y'all floating up here. Wait, wait, wait.
the word that describes us is redacted. Okay, friends, we're going to call it there for now. This was fun, and uh, I'll probably play this again sometime this week. Tomorrow we might be playing a different game. So, uh, hey, please come back and enjoy the time spent. Danny, thank you for hanging out with me for the day. I really appreciate it. It was nice talking to you again. Tell Dad I say hi, and I love him, and I miss him, and I love and I miss you. And I hope you uh, uh, stick to your homework and keep getting those good grades. All righty.